Hey you guys, welcome back to Angel Angela. And on today's topic, as you guys can see, we are going to talk about the narcissist is a taker. So I wanted to keep this video really brief, but I wanted you guys to learn something that you guys can use into your daily life every single day, something that will help you minimize the chances of you interacting with um, narcissists and to help you eliminate these people if you are not sure if this is the type of person that you are dealing with. So the reason the title of this video is the narcissist is a taker is because there are two types of people in this world. There are people who are givers and there are people there that are takers. So when it comes to the people who are givers, these are the people that, you know, if you're out in the middle of somewhere and you get a flat tire and someone just appears to you out of nowhere and they're willing to help you or they're willing to give you a jump on your car and then you're thinking to yourself like, wow, you know, that was a miracle. I didn't have to even call AAA and this is a friend or a person that will kindly give you um, a helping hand. This is a person that you can call to just to speak to about your problems or, you know, and, and this isn't a person that's just going to let you speak about your problems. Um, this is a person that is, gonna, is going to give you good advice who is going to motivate you to not think negatively, you know, about yourself um, or your situation, you know, they are the type of person that will shine light on any type of situation that you're in and you can feel um, their sincerity in it. And the givers, the people that give will never throw it in your face of what they have done for you. These are the people that don't care, you know, if they've ever done anything um, for you because it came out of the kindness of their heart, you know, and if they do tell you, you know, that they did something for you, it's because they're hurt because they feel like I've gave so much to you and you still can't see that I care about you and that I love you. These are the givers. These are the empathetic um, people, the people with um, empathy, um, so with that being said, then you have the takers. The takers are the ones that are willing to take the last of what you have and they don't feel bad about it. The takers are the ones that want you to invest more into them than they invest into you. The takers are the ones that, um, they're constantly plotting on other people or they're constantly telling you that, they need certain people, um, certain friends, certain type of friends in order to get to where they need to get. Um, those are the takers because they're constantly seeking other people to give them supply. Um, you know, it doesn't, it, it, you know, with givers, with givers, they can seek out good people that can also put them in good situations. But see, their purpose isn't because they want to take from those people. Their purpose is that they want to surround themselves around positive people. And they're doing it from a place where it's not, um, it's not so sucking because that's what a taker does. They take and they, um, it's very, it's to the point where it, it's almost like they're sucking the soul out of you. Um, a taker is the type of person that will give to you, but they will remind you that they did that for you. And even if they did anything for you, um, most likely, most likely you have done more for them than they've done for you. And um, they make it seem as if they don't really have to do anything for you. They don't really have to give. But look, I gave to you. I didn't really have to do that, but I still did it. You know, and it comes from a place of hate, jealousy, or um, just envy. So 
as we come to know what a giver and a taker is, this is something that we must apply into our daily life and apply it to the people around us. Um, are these people giving to us? They don't necessarily have to give materialistic things, but are they giving you motivation to do more? Are they giving you, um, you know, um, are they giving you any any type of value? Are they bringing any type of value to your life? You know, if this friend or this family member or this husband, boyfriend, um, if these people aren't bringing anything into your life, they are takers. So a lot of times um, when you look around you and you look at different relationships, look at different relationships around you. Just meditate and think about all the people that you know. And then think to yourself, okay, is my uncle and aunt, um, are they both givers or are they both takers? Are there, is one a giver and one a taker? And then you'll start to realize why these relationships don't really work out. But yet these people attract each other. You know, they say opposites attract. Because a lot of times, you know, some people say that they're good people. You know, they say they say that they're givers. But as soon as they get with someone else who's a giver, they become a taker. Something in them, something in them just changes them and they become a taker because they don't appreciate the person that is giving to them. So this message is to help you guys eliminate the narcissist in your life and the new narcissist that will come into your life, you know, um, so that you guys can be aware of the people around you and make a, I wouldn't say make a judgment of them. You know, we shouldn't judge people, but um, these are the things that will let you understand if this person is welcomed in your life or if they're not welcomed in your life no longer. Because if someone is a taker, they will take from everyone and they won't feel bad about it. They will change up um, different characteristics of themselves to please someone else just so that they can take from them. So this is going to be an easy tactic you guys can use with narcissists. But always remember that when you meet narcissists, they pretend to be givers. These narcissists pretend to be givers, and this is how they fool you because you are a giver. So um, understand what a giver is, understand what a taker is, understand that a narcissist cannot stay being a giver for too long. It makes them angry. It makes them mad. Um, they start to make you want to be a giver, and next thing you know, they have taken more than they have gave. Um, so this message is for you guys to um, to put it into use and also so that you guys can be aware that when you do find someone and people around you who are givers to not um, take that for granted because you've been around takers for too long. Do not take those people for granted, you guys. Um, so. I hope that you guys enjoyed this message. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, and I hope that you guys are staying narcissist free. Don't forget to leave your comments, like, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys on the next one, you guys. Bye.